Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In addition to updating the Curve Editor in Flame 2023, the Dope Sheet, formerly known as the Tracks Editor, has also received a few updates to make it easier to use. So you'll cover the updated Dope Sheet UI, learn about adjusting animation timings, and finally scaling animation in the Dope Sheet. To access the Dope Sheet in the Animation Editor, you click the Dope Sheet button under the Curves button. So the main purpose of the Dope Sheet is to show your animation and keyframes over time, rather than plotted on a visual curve. When a channel is animated, you'll see the start and end of the animation, as well as the keyframes that make up the animation. The Dope Sheet shows all the same channels as the curves, and it also uses the same filtering options to find and manage animation channels with ease. In addition to filtering, when you use the channel colour coding, this will also be displayed in the Dope Sheet, in addition to the colour tag next to the channel name. So working with lots of channels in the Dope Sheet is much easier to manage. Finally, each channel displays numeric information relevant to that channel. You'll see the start frame number, the end frame number, and the duration of the channel animation. If you don't wish to see this information, you can click on the Animation Gear menu and turn off Display Information in Dope Sheet. To move a keyframe, you simply select it in the Dope Sheet and move it either left or right. This will update in the view, and it will only change the timings of the animation. This will not change the value of the keyframe. As a reminder, you will still see the keyframe's value in the keyframe menu, and you can adjust the absolute values. You can also select multiple keyframes with control and adjust their timings all at once. The keyframe menu will show relative adjustments instead of absolute values, so you can work gesturally or numerically. Now, if you want to slide an entire animation channel instead of individual keyframes, you can click and drag anywhere on the bar and drag it left or right. As you slide the animation, you will see the start and end information update for that channel, but the duration will remain the same. As a great tip, you can slide multiple channels by sliding the folders in the channel hierarchy. However, if you want to slide the entire composition, scroll up to the scene entry, and even though it's not an actual channel or folder, you can slide it in the Dope Sheet to offset all your animation. Finally, I wanted to point out the first and last keyframe in an animation channel. Even though they are at either ends of the animation channel, you can still grab the keyframes and adjust their timings without scaling the rest of the animation channel. The animation does get longer or shorter, but no other keyframes are affected. When it comes to scaling animations in the Dope Sheet, you have two workflows to choose from. The first workflow involves the arrows on either side of the animated channel. So to scale this animation, you click on the arrow and drag it left or right. The keyframes will scale in the Dope Sheet and player controls and you will see feedback in the result view. It's also worth mentioning that as you scale an animation, the scaling keyframes will snap to the closest frame and not get caught between two frames. This is a setting that is on by default in the Animation Gear menu. The second means of scaling an animation is to use the Xscale option located in the Tools menu. So with a channel selected, you can click over any keyframe to lock it at its current frame. 
When you drag left or right, the surrounding keyframes scale towards or away from it depending on the drag direction. This affects the entire channel, and you can easily go between different keyframes as an anchor point for the scaling. The X scale can also be localized on a keyframe selection instead of the entire channel. Switch to the Select mode, select multiple keyframes, and then switch back to X scale mode. The next time you select and drag on any keyframe within the selection, only the surrounding keyframes within the selection will scale towards or away from the chosen keyframe. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. And thanks for watching.